Welcome back. Uh, Mr. Yedele, um, let's talk about tariff. Let's talk about, you know, paying for electricity. Many people have complained that even when they don't see power, they don't have it, they still pay. What are you doing in terms of ensuring that people pay for exactly what they have consumed? Let me, you may let me correct that um, um, assumption. I'm, I'm not in charge of uh, NEC. I'm not in charge of uh, the regulatory agencies. And you had the Honorable Minister speak about, um, about metering and the efforts that government is doing to ensure that we have more prepaid meters available to customers. Of course, this, the issue of consumers not being uh, properly metered is reprehensible to this government. And um, I don't want to talk uh, on behalf of the regulatory agencies, but the truth of the matter is that um, there are measures put in place to ensure that any aggrieved consumer is, is well compensated. But I can assure you that government is making efforts because, because I'm in the industry, so I know, to ensure that meters are made available to consumers and consumers get metered for what uh, they consume. That's a standard and that's desirable. And, uh, and of course, I, I, don't, I, I'm, I shouldn't, I'm not in a position to speak about, um, about um, uh, tariffs, but it's a very sensitive matter. But I want to appeal to Nigerians that people should pay for the electricity, for the services that they, re they receive. Because I'm aware, and I'm sure that a lot of you know this, that many consumers don't pay for the, for the, for the services, for the, for the electricity they consume. No nation can progress where its citizens destroy uh, power facilities, where even, even educated citizens bypass the meter to supply uh, their, their, their heavy load uh, equipment in their house, their air conditioners, their, their water heaters, and they bypass it. That's criminal. And, and no Nigerian, these people who do these things are not from, are not from mass. Mm. They are our citizens. Okay. Nigeria is the only country where I see a man climb a, a, a street light pole and remove the lamp on, on, on it without any consequences, you know. So these are issues. I mean, we, we should also speak to ourselves. But Mr. having Adele, said that, I, I am aware of measures being put in place by government to ensure that all of these um, uh, complaints are, are tackled in good time. Okay. Mr. Adele, I know you said you're, you're not in a position to speak about tariffs, but... Jesus, is a yes or no question here. Do you think the tariff regime should be revisited? It, it, look, look, nothing is cast, nothing is cast in gold any time. Nothing is cast in gold. Life itself is a continuous pro process. Even, even school fees in, in private schools, in public schools, um, even, even your, your, your free uh, mobile telephony, sometimes... The, the, the charges are increased, sometimes they are lowered. Fuel prices lowered is increased sometimes. So I, I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want, I, I'm sure that government is very sensitive to the people. And that's why you have seen that the, tariff, the present tariff is, is steady for some time now, uh, because government is aware that uh, it is the people who, who, who bear the brunt. Okay, so there, there are a lot of. Um, I'm sure that that will be take the, the, this. Okay, there are a lot of comments coming in here, but I'll take you back. Um, I'm not going to read those comments yet. Let's just go back a bit to one of the first questions we asked about the question of funding. Now, there was a conversation going on somewhere, and some people talked about the federal government having, or government having a 40% stake in the discos. And then the suggestion was made that those that 40% needs to be let go of so that the discos can run by themselves. Do you think that would in any way change the situation of things right now? 
not, not, not at the moment. Not at the moment. Um, the truth of the matter is that uh, the question to ask is, is government getting the 40 percent? Is government getting money from the 40 percent that it holds in the discourse at the moment? The complaint is that we are not, I mean, that's why Jenkos are not being paid. The complaint is that the, it's either that the discos are not, are, are not collecting enough money or that they are not being accountable. Well, I don't want to talk about that, you know. The, the issue is not whether government owns 40%. Those who crafted the law, don't forget that this, this, this um, reform was undertaken by the immediate past government. So it's, um, it's not, it's not a, but government will review it at the appropriate time. We need to make everybody to perform. If, if the discos are doing what they are supposed to do, if we have enough power getting to the people, I'm sure there will be no complaints. And that's the ultimate objective of government. Where the fort, and in any case, when government receives the 40%, is it, is it going to take it into their pocket? They're going to use it to improve the, 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 the uh, transmission network, which is being owned by government at the moment. So the, the fact is that the issue is not in the, in the uh, percentage of, of, um, of uh, shares that the government has in, in the discos. Look at what happened in, in Yola Disco, for instance. Because that disco was not able to perform because of uh, uh, the insurgency. Government took over, and, and government is doing very well. The Yola Disco is, 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 is about one of the best performing discos in the country at the moment. So uh, there, is, there is no... I mean, the issue of government owning 40% or not owning 40% is not, is not a problem at the moment. I don't think so.